I just wanted to say a few things before I got started on this video. Um, one, I noticed when I got done with this one that the diag time on the car that we're working on, I didn't record any of my diagnostics. If that's something y'all want to see, let me know and I'll start adding that to the video. Um, I know this is kind of a short one and it's not a really technical, um, it's not, not a really technical problem on the car. It's just a fun car we work on. So naturally I just grabbed what I could of it. Um, I just wanted to, to have a video with a neat car in it. Um, I'm going to try to stick to doing mainly our customer cars that are that are fun but if y'all like seeing me work on customer cars let me know and i'll do more of them so on to the show okay so we got our sensor from delco um i've got the wrench set up on there we're probably just gonna pop this out real quick and uh pop a new one in I'll hopefully be able to do it without losing all the coolant I'm hoping to pull it out without losing a lot of coolant. I didn't drain anything. I am just strictly yanking this out. And I'm gonna slap this one in as it's dribbling. And only losing dribbles. Just losing dribbles. And of course the old one fell down into the belly pan, but we'll get it out with a magnet. Well, I say magnet, we'll probably have to use Plug it in and it will be good to test. Okay, so off camera I went ahead and topped it off with some coolant. Let's fire it up, let it get up to temperature, and see if we took care of it. check engine light because I had fired it up with the uh Notice the fan's not screaming anymore, and now we're showing coolant temps temperature. So let's go for a quick spin, and we will make sure our temperature stays the same. Excuse me here. Okay, let's see. There we go. All right. So, like I said, I have done quite a bit of work on this car. It uh, has had, all of it's been basic stock replacement. I'll actually need to see if I can find um, the pictures from when I did the torque tube in it. It was absolutely mangled. And you have to realize this car is daily driven by a 70 year old man. And it's, 
obviously fairly low mileage is up to 70 now but at around 48 he had just absolute hell with it it, uh, it needed a torque tube it ended up needing a lifter I mean not not a thousand miles later it ain't a lifter but it's a fun little car I've actually been working on it since it was brand new uh, when they first came out I had I had three customers that got C7s when they came out so it was like I had more C7s in my shop than most uh, most dealerships had cars but I think that's gonna do it for this one obviously we've we've uh, taken care of the problem um, so like I said I was gonna uh, share kind of fun cars with you guys when they came in the shop and this was the first one that came in and I happened to be messing with the Mustang when it came in so I thought why not let's show everybody the C7 we've done so much work on so uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead in this one here we've got coolant temperature showing on the dash which means I did my job so we'll see you on the next one